Courtney and I have made our way to Munich, Germany, where we are going to hit the Oktoberfest. This is the home of Oktoberfest. It is absolutely insane, so I recommend it to everyone. It is difficult to find a place to stay here if you have to have a hotel or something in town. It gets very, very expensive, so book way, way ahead of time. Lucky for us, we have a buddy that lives in Munich, so he's letting us stay with him, and he's going to tell you about the Oktoberfest. Our next stop was Munich, Germany, and this is our friend Toby, and he's going to tell you where we are. I'm a local guy, I'm from Munich, I love it here, it's really amazing city and we are so fortunate to host the world's biggest party right here in Munich. Two weeks, eight million people, we have about, I don't know, 20, 25 beer tents, each holds about eight to 20,000 people, uh, great energy, great drinking, great partying, really amazing here. Before we hit up the Oktoberfest, Toby took us for a walk around downtown Munich, and let me tell you, the town here is absolutely beautiful. The architecture of the old buildings here is just stunning, and the atmosphere during the Oktoberfest is off the chart. This adorable horse-drawn carriage is carrying beer from their brewery to their tent at Oktoberfest. A trip to Munich wouldn't be complete without a stop at the famous Hofbrauhaus. Any other time of year, this would be the place to be because it's sort of like a small Oktoberfest all year round. Along with all of the shops and restaurants that are downtown, there is this beautiful cathedral that we highly recommend stopping by. Next, it was time to head over to the Oktoberfest. What a lot of people may not know is that there's a lot more to the Oktoberfest than just drinking beer in a crowded tent. The whole festival is a carnival that is full of rides that are worthy of an amusement park, as well as games, food, and fun for the whole family. We spent the day at Oktoberfest with Toby and his family. We got to ride a bunch of the rides and it was great because some were wonderful for younger kids and then there were also some really big rides that were great for the older kids and adults. They took us to visit the traditional part of Oktoberfest. There's an entire section devoted to keeping things the way they used to be. There's old school rides as well as traditional music, food, and dancing. Even though we don't know the traditional Bavarian style of dance, I still convinced Ross to dance with me. Once we'd eaten our fill of the Bavarian food, we wanted to try out one of the adult rides, so we chose this swing that has to be at least 100 feet high. Well, we're definitely strapped in, if that makes you feel any better. Here we go, man. Smooth, smooth. I like heights, but that was really intense. I wanted to film it from the top, but I was really worried about dropping my phone, so nope, didn't happen. Getting into a beer tent on Saturday night at the biggest party in the world proved to be a bit of a challenge. But thankfully we had Toby to help convince the bouncers to let us in. We made it! Once we got into this beer tent, it was super awesome because there were so many different vibes throughout the night. It was so fun because throughout the evening the vibes changed multiple times, including costume changes and the added lights. Our entire experience at the Oktoberfest was nothing short of amazing. We highly recommend it to everybody. We have lots more adventures to come, so please like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here next time.